The day I was born, you told me I was a miracle. I was a miracle because I fought to survive, and you did too. You said after I was born, you visited me every day in the hospital. Until the day you got to leave with me in your arms. Now, I don't remember what you told me from ages 1 through 5. But I remember what you said from ages 6 to 16. At the age of 6, for every mistake I made, I was called pendeja, dumb, stupid, mensa. At the age of 7, you added on more words. At the age of eight, even more words. At the age of nine, it continued. At the age of ten, stop! Please stop! I started cutting the words into my skin for every scar, the memory of a cruel word you told me. At the age of eleven, these words echoed. At home and at school. At the age of twelve... They constantly repeated in my head all these words and the definition of confidence changed into low self-esteem. At the age of 13, I knew these words by heart and I became silent because I could not speak for myself. At the age of 14, I broke down. I couldn't take it any longer. I fell to pieces and got hospitalized, not for a broken bone, but for a broken heart and mind. At the age of 15, I was put back to pieces, never to be the same, but at least I was stable. I'm still not confident in myself and nor was anyone else. At the age of 16, you told me, I will always be a failure. Mom, you told me this since the age of six, rubbed it in my face at the age of 13 and decided it will be okay to tell me I'm never going to be a success. Weren't you the one who called me your miracle? My miracle is not enough that after all you put me through, I'm still capable of giving off kindness. Is it not enough that I'm still trying my best despite everyone who called me a failure? Is it not a miracle that no matter how depressed I was or how much low self-esteem I had, I made myself strong? The words, my miracle, turn into it would be a miracle if you graduate. Because you see me as a failure, But failures quit. And I'd say it would be a miracle if you changed the way you acted and thought. But you gave up long ago, Mom. You failed, not me.